Well, we, as you said, we had an open house in March. It was the first time we'd done this sort of event. And we had a couple of goals in mind. The first was to introduce our faculty and our facilities to members of the public. We have a state-of-the-art building with um, a number of computer labs that allow us to do file recovery work. Um, we have the ability to do some secured research and we have amazing faculty who come from a variety of disciplines who work in the cybersecurity program. We have mathematicians, we have computer scientists, we have an electrical engineer, um, I'm a criminologist, so we have a varied department. And that was our first goal, was to introduce our faculty and our facilities. The second thing we wanted to do is show students what kinds of majors exist, what kinds of things they can do when they're done with high school and what they might want to go into. Because I certainly know for myself that although I couldn't describe to somebody what I wanted to do, when I saw it, I recognized it. And so there are a variety of kinds of students who would be successful in a cybersecurity um, program. You know, it doesn't, it's not all mathematics. There are some very simple problem solving skills that students can bring with them. Um, the ability to place information in a logical order to recreate some sort of an event that they were not present for. So it's really um, open to a number of kinds of abilities that students might have. And the last thing we wanted to do is also open our doors to our neighbors, to our community and say, this is what we're doing at Utica College. This is how we want to be a good neighbor to the community. These are the types of programs we have and the faculty who are willing to take on projects within the local community. So the bottom line, seeing the evolution of this technology from an idea all the way to an actual product enables me to bring that experience into the classroom. And to me, nothing beats being able to say, you know, I was part of this thing from the beginning, from ground zero, and I've seen it mature to where it is today after, you know, 25 or so years. And it just brings a richness to the classroom, to the residencies, to the master's level, and even importantly, to the undergraduate level. So obviously, we live in a world of, of symbols, A through Z, zero through nine. The computer basically translates those symbols into all zeros and ones. So while there's online calculators that enable you to do all kinds of, of things today, it's good to be able to know how to convert the symbols that we use and see in the real world and convert them to the zeros and ones that the computer uses. It makes you a better computer person. And then obviously on top of all this, a love of computers at every level. Not just somebody who knows how to use Facebook or search on Google, but people who play around with programming languages, people who like to really dig into things, people who like to know how hardware works, how software works, how systems interact with each other. That makes a good cybersecurity person.